thine be absolutely radiating in the Lord this morning and this glorious, glorious sunshine. It's the equinox tomorrow. I'm nervous. I'm going down to Sydney to look at this camper tomorrow. I'm nervous about the equinox. But in more positive news, I really feel as though I've uncovered something um, with my Genesis... Let's drive. With my Genesis uh, 5 rabbit hole mission trying to understand part of the bible um it's been a big morning i've been up since two o'clock i've had sort of the ipad over there and the phone in front of me and the laptop here and the bible there and i've had enoch and jasher and the bible and i've done up spreadsheets and all sorts of stuff trying to understand trying to understand um uh, more about this Genesis 5 and this just this period <clears throat> just this period between um, the fall in the garden um, and the flood and something that I have found out I won't give too much away so I'm gonna I'm on my way to my brother's now to pick him up again remember he broke his foot he's got a bone appointment today he's going to see the specialist this morning so I'm off to pick him up uh, to do that uh, but after I do this I'm gonna go back down to the park and I'm gonna do a video on it but something I have learned and it wasn't that hard to learn. It took me about an hour or so. Um, I've, I've sort of I've done a bit of a timeline of how long it took from from creation to um, to the flood. And and there's no real unless there's another apocrypha book out there. If somebody can help me with that, that'd be great. Unless there's another ap apocrypha book out there, um, there's nothing really there about how long it was between um, creation and the fall in the garden. But from the fall, from the fall in the garden, well, no, I think it does because the, no, it does because the time Adam was conceived. So I gather Adam, well, I gather Adam of one of those big four-wheel drive monsters with its lights on, who are the only people on the road, and nobody's going quick enough for them. Just absolutely boring around that roundabout. So I gather Adam was only created once. There was no sort of second creation with him because he fell in the garden. That's the, So um, <clears throat> I think that's fairly clear. Um, so I was really surprised, but it worked out as about 2,036 2, years, um, which is fascinating given where we are right now, given where we are right now in 2018. And, and you throw in, you know, the fact that we're using some some hybrid calendar thing that's not of God. It's not the um, it's not the ancient Jewish calendar that we're using. So I don't know. 2019 could well be it. You know, I, I don't know because to me it just it's all in threes in the Bible. Something I've really picked up this morning is it's all in threes. You know, Jesus died and 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 um, he, he died for three days and and Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and people were in the wilderness for three days and throughout their whole testament i was like what on earth is with this three days bit you know and and um and and they, they talk about a day being a millennium and all that sort of thing i don't know to me there's three periods of time there's the there's the period pre-flood um and then there's a period post-flood to christ and then there's the period um, post-christ up until us now um so if that's the case and in 2036 it stands to reason there could have been 2036 years between the flood and the um and, and christ um and then from christ was a christ birth was a christ death who knows you know but to me it just heightens my senses that we are we are very very close to the end people we are very close to the end um, something I wanted to talk about today is um, just I've, I've sort of intimated to this a couple of times in previous videos where I just feel as though the book of Exodus is playing out in my life now and I do believe it's playing out in the earth. I think it's plain for those who know the Bible and are really getting to know the Lord. It's plainly obvious that the book of Exodus is playing out the 400 year bondage of, um, of, of the, to the Egyptians, which is the Knights Templar and the 12 tribes of Israel are scattered right throughout the earth and they're, and every place on earth now is, is controlled by the Knights Templar. Um, and it's been the case since 1619 when the tribe of Judah went, went over to America there um, as slaves. So it's pretty apparent that the book of Exodus is playing out um, as, as we speak in the world. And it certainly has been in, in my life. Um, I've got a lot of parallels going on with Abraham, I feel. 
um, and the book of Exodus. Um, so I've, I've, I've gone to, um, I've gone to, and, and something I've really prayed for this morning is, is just to keep my ego in check. Um, because I've always been a person who's been rejected, rejected by the world, rejected by everyone. I'll make friends and eventually I'm rejected by them for no good reason. I'll just lose friends. I've never really had friends. I've never been a popular figure. I've, I've, I've been a loner most of my life. So to all of a sudden at 45 years old to just come alive in the name of the Lord is just amazing. You just, I don't know how to deal with it. You know, you've got to, you, you just got to, you, you, I pray about it and I go, I, I, Lord, I promise you, I will stay humble, but you know what? I'm going to take a lot of pride and I'm going to take a lot of, a lot of glee in, in, in the way my life's turned. And I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to have a lot of pride, a lot of pride because it's in the name of the Lord, just with what I'm doing and where I've come and, and the way I've stuck at it and, and when I first learned truth of the moon landing in 2016, I hearkened and I just wanted more truth. All I've ever wanted since that day was just truth, truth, more truth. Um, and I haven't, I haven't, um, you know, put my head in the sea like the others have where I don't want to know and life's too good at the moment and it's just got to, it's it, it, pride, you know, I, that means I've got to admit I've been lied to all my life. No, no, I've done none of that. So the journey's been hard. It's been ruthless. It's been brutal. I've been stripped apart by the Lord so many times since I found him. Um, so I just pray for discernment all the time because I just feel that I am somebody. I am somebody here because just some of the comments that are getting left in my thread, the supernatural events I'm having now, like the one I had there in that employment office there the other day, and the Lord um, freed me from affliction, from an affliction about three weeks ago. It seems apparent to me now that that's what's occurred. Um, he freed me from an affliction, and I no longer, I'm no longer a servant to that affliction. It's it's gone. It's gone. Oh a school school zone here we go here we go i'm in blue haven school zone central there's just school kids everywhere so if there's school kids around i, I don't know I, I reckon we should get out and push because there's school kids around because i mean if you're in a car and you're driving and and there's school kids around it's got to be unsafe and i can't see any i can't see the purple monster there's probably freemasons and nephilim everywhere who knows who knows yeah. Anyway, um, just some of the comments that are being left and the supernatural events I'm having, you know, I've been freed from that affliction and I've got one more big one that I'm really working on, but it's getting easier by the day. And just people in my life, how they're playing roles and they represent affliction and Beck, you come to me yesterday with that email and that was in the name of the Lord and just as the enemy gets exposed as well, they, they, as their agenda gets revealed, it sort of, it helps me discern my calling, so even the enemy does good works in my walk, you know, because every time the enemy's been revealed, it just, it just, it's just the Lord revealing more and more um, to me about my calling, those times I went to church, for instance, I mean, how many times have I drawn on that in videos, you know, when I went to the churches and the, and the negative experiences I had there? But in any case, so the Lord, I've, I've spoken about this a few times, how the Lord took me out of bondage since I got that redundancy going on two years ago now in, 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 um, in August 2017. He took me out of bondage and I sort of, I didn't know what was happening because I hadn't found the Lord at that point. And, and even last year, I, I found the Lord finally in June last year and I was born again at Christmas. Um, and Christmas Day was the day where I picked up that Bible for the, and, the, and, and it will be in my hand forevermore now. It'll never go down again. Um, the Bible, I'll never close that book up ever again. Oh, here we go. I'm getting tailgated in a school zone. It just gets better, doesn't it? I'll never put down that Bible again. Um, and, and just, I don't know, it's just been sort of just, just one thing after another with, 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 with um, just with my walk. And it's like, um, I've been taken out of the bondage and I didn't know, but even in June there last year, even in June there last year, I sort of, I still wanted to be in the system because I still didn't know what was going on. And the Lord sometimes just has to be as subtle as a sledgehammer and that's what he's done. He's taken me out of the, um, out of bondage and I've been in the wilderness, you know, the last, the last few months, the last going on a year, really, I've been in the wilderness and I look back and I've just been complaining, I've been bitching. Um, that's what I've been doing the last few weeks about money. I've just been in the wilderness saying to the Lord, I know, Lord, I know you've done all this for me, but it's just so hard to leave money behind and I know it's the system and wah, 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 you know, you know. So it's like, um, it, 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 and, and that's really hit me the last couple of days that that's what the sort of the Lord's done. Lord's, oh, look at that guy go. 
it's like that was a guy that was tailgating me and it's a 50 zone I think it's just schools everywhere who, who knows they don't want to make speed limits clear they don't want to make them clear because then they can't find us if we all know what the speed limits are but off he went he went back again and he really roused on me that man really roused on me I hope he gets to sit on his lounge 90 seconds earlier and I don't know what he's going to go home and do probably the way he's carrying on probably nothing good don't think he's going to open the bible no, no. But anyway, we 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 must love our neighbour. Um, see, it's all, it's a constant battle, isn't it? It's a constant battle. We are human. We are human. Um, yeah, and I've sort of um, and I've really it's come to the fore there this morning, and I've just at a point now where Genesis twelve one's back. It's never gone away, but it's just back now in a big way because I'm just feeling like the Holy Spirit's just on me all the time. It, it, I. I I stumbled on something this morning about Abraham, you know, because that's where I am in Jasher, and, and, and the Holy, I just felt the Holy Spirit just come upon me just, just to confirm what I'd learned. It's just, it's incredible what's going on, and the supernatural events, and I just feel like people are talking to me, and I don't know, they know more about who I am in the Lord than I am. It's really bizarre. It's just some of the comments and some of the way people, I don't know, it's like, they know more than me, but you won't tell me what you know. It's, I'm starting to think it's because I need to come to the conclusion myself because this morning's been fabulous. I've been up since two and I've just been researching Joshua Enoch in the Bible just for five hours, you know, and these garments. It's all in these garments, guys. It's just all in these garments. But I'll do that video a little bit later. I'll do that video a little bit later. Um, but I just wanted to sort of just get this down because so I've been talking about it for a few days and it's just sort of, it's just sort of how I feel and, and now I just feel I'm at a point now in my walk where I'm going to buy this camper van. <clears throat> I, you know, I'm not going to buy it if it's no good, but I, I just feel at the moment the Lord's taken me there. The Lord's put that camper van in front of me. You know, he's, he, my budget wasn't as high as I was. I've upped my budget, you know, I've basically doubled my budget for this, for this camper van because he's released me from the bondage of money. Um, and lo and behold, this thing just, 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 it's just there. It's at a lot. It's at a car lot. Um, it's a three year warranty on it, you know, so you just can't go wrong. And it looks really, it's, it's Mickey Mouse by the looks of it. And it's perfect for what I want. Um, so you just, you just think, okay, the next stage of my calling is about to amp up. It's about to really get serious, my calling. And this is where I think the book of, book of Joshua, I don't know, I don't know, the book of Joshua might be able to, might be about to play out with me. I don't know, it just depends on, I'm starting to think that everybody who's in the body of Christ, um, is a character within the Bible. Frida, you left that comment there the other day and that's really helped me along this morning in my research about, about Genesis 5 and these garments. It, you just, you comment about a third fell and, you know, a third didn't sin against God and a third chose to repent with our second chance on earth, sister. That's just, that's just really ringing true. And I just, you know, is the Lamb's Book of Life and, and the Body of Christ two are the same thing and the Bible three the same thing. Are we just, everybody that's in the Body of Christ is in the Lamb's Book of Life and are we all characters in the Bible? Is that what the Bible is? You know, that's, they're the questions I'm pondering this morning. Um, many more questions you'll see with this video I do a little bit later after I'm done with my brother you'll see sort of you'll see um, where I'm at <clears throat> with, with with all that with the Genesis 5 question and and maybe even creation the, the Lord may have led me to the answer to the answer about I thought that was my ex Mrs. and the demon of my mother and my children but no the reason for creation why we got here how we got here and oh, not how we got here we know how we got here the Lord did it the Lord created it but why he did it um, it's all starting to become a little bit clearer to me and they're two of the biggest questions I've ever had in life and certainly the two since I come to the Lord so it's a great time to be alive guys it's an even better time to be in the body of Christ stay aware stay vigilant stay sober stay sober in the Lord um, because just keep your eye on the equinox there's just something something happening something brewing the spiritual world's changed it's just come alive for me um, and also April 1, I feel they're, the, they're our two dates at the moment. So we pray we get through when we get to, we get to keep the, um, get to keep preaching the kingdom of the, of the Lord to the, to the sound of sleep masses. But, but then you look the other way and you go, I just want to go home. I've had enough because the more, the, every day I go, the more it becomes apparent where we are and how evil and 
absolutely horrendous this place is and I just some days I just feel so alone and I just I prayed the other day I said Jesus man I just can't wait to meet you praise to you all my brothers and sisters thank you for your interest thank you for sharing my walk um, thanks for subbing and thanks for watching my videos it truly truly means a lot all power and glory goes to the King of Judah our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ you